Greetings, Watford fans, and hello, welcome. I'm Omar Moore, and this is the Yuan's 10 minute take, the TMT for Leeds United against Watford. Final score in the Premier League at Elland Road finished Leeds 1, Watford 0. And this game really is fairly clear and self explanatory as to why the result was what it was. Leeds wanted this game more than Watford did. Watford did not look up to it today. They just did not look as if they were interested enough today. That's what really is a concern for me. The mentality was non-existent in terms of putting the home side on their heels. Uh, Watford looked as if they were intimidated, not necessarily by the Leeds players, but by the Elland Road crowd. They did not react well. They looked like they were playing the occasion and not the game and not their strategy, whatever the strategy was. Watford did not execute it. They didn't want this game. It seemed as if they were still in the changing room, waiting for the international break. No passion, no desire, no sense of belief in what they were doing because they didn't seem to have a game plan in terms of knowing what this game demanded. It demanded, as I have been speaking about on this YouTube channel, on these videos, a mentality that says from minute one to minute 95 that we are switched on and we are coming to give a performance and we're coming to take these points. Watford played very tentatively and their hesitation, their nervousness, their jitters, all inexcusable against a lead side that had not won a Premier League game this season. That should have been motivation enough for this Watford side today. A team that had not won a Premier League game this season, that should have been the motivation. That should have been it. Watford should have gone on that pitch saying, well, we're not going to be the first to lose to them. We're not going to be the first to lose to a lead side that had not won a Premier League game this season. But their mentality was the opposite. It was, well, we're just going to get through these 95 minutes and get to the international break. We don't have to play a game next week. So this, this is what the body language said to me. This is what the play said to me. This is what the energy level said to me. Too much space being given to Leeds. Too much respect being given to Leeds. Too much. Here you have a go. Inviting leads on, no organization, defense at sixes and sevens, the goalkeeper off his line all the time and not knowing where the ball's going, has no idea. That's my concern. Today was a game that Watford just had not woken up. But not only that, they didn't do anything. They didn't do anything. And this is against the lead side. Again, I'm going to repeat this for the fourth or fifth time. Had not won a Premier League game. If that does not motivate you to come in and give a performance at Elland Road, nothing will. I thought what we had today were 11 players who were still getting to know each other. I thought you had on the field today for Watford, 11 players playing individually. I thought what you had on the field today, with the exception of maybe two or three players, was a team that had no idea of what the mentality was, didn't have a mentality. The only players today that I thought gave a really good account of themselves were Francisco Sierra Alta and Danny Rose. Those were the two players, and they're both in the defense, all in the back line, who gave their all. They had commitment. They had belief. They had a bit of passion and urgency. They had application. And that was it, really. For many, it wasn't bad. But really, those two players, specifically, Sierralta and Rose, were the only two players who were at it today. And that is not good enough to get you points in the Premier League. It's not good enough to get you anything in the Premier League at all. And it was frustrating it wasn't disappointing. It was frustrating that this team did not even put in any real performance. Didn't ever have leads on their 
heels? Never. Not once. Didn't give the goalkeeper Melier a thing to think about. Didn't trouble him at all. Didn't trouble Melier. It was really, see, that's the thing. You've had an opportunity here to put this team on its heels. And instead, what you've done is you've just been content to play out the 94 minutes and just not troubling them. Did they have a shot on target today, Watford? One, maybe? Didn't fashion any chances. Midfield didn't look lively, didn't look fluid. I think Tufan was awful today. He, he didn't have a clue today. His first start, Cisco trusted him to go. I thought, I thought initially I was hoping for him to start, but I didn't expect it was going to be away at Leeds. And he had a lively performance on the back of, you know, off of Newcastle, the Newcastle game. So, okay, Cisco's thinking probably the was, okay, look, you know, your performance was rewarded and it's going to be rewarded by starting this game at Leeds. And Tufan just did not have it. He just totally overhit balls. Passing was poor. Shooting from wherever. Ball was just, he just did not have the game today at all. He'll have better games than this one on his Premier League debut to forget. But there was no one else. No one else had an idea either outside the two players I mentioned earlier. No one else had an idea. I mean, I think there was lively movement from Dennis and from King. But the sad thing is that Josh King now has come down with an injury, very concerning injury. His knee, that's never a good sign. Um, all I would like to say now to Mr. Joshua King is a speedy recovery to you, sir. Wishing you all the very best. Um, I hope that you are able to get healthy again, first and foremost. And then when you're ready to come back on the pitch for Watford, looking forward to you coming back and your contributions, Joshua, have been really important to us, uh, even in the games where we haven't played well. Uh, I want to just say to you, Joshua, thank you um, for what you've done uh, so far and uh, hoping to have you back on the pitch in, in a not too distant future. And Watford's injury problems continued in this game because Pier, uh, Francisco Sierra Alta got injured, you know, and hamstring injury. So he's likely to come back in a few weeks' time. Conceivably, he could be back for the game against Liverpool in two weeks. Of course, there is an international break coming up. So it's a very good chance that he might be back for that game. Hamstrings can be between two and four weeks or longer. It depends on how severe the hamstring pull is, the hamstring strain. Um, Sierra Alta, who again was really the best player on the pitch, along with Danny Rose, the two best players on the pitch for Watford, out injured. So we'll see what happens there. Hopefully he can come back in the not too distant future if it's not for the Liverpool game. Um, a speedy recovery to him as well. But generally speaking, this this uh, Watford side, just not at it. Kuchka, I think, had a poor game. You know, uh, he did have some heart and desire in the second half, but not good enough overall. I think the team, again, showed you flashes, but this is, again, the problem with the side is the first, the first half performance is poor. For much of these games, the first half performance is poor, and that's the pattern you're seeing. A poor first half, and then in the second half, they step it up a little bit, but don't do it enough. And that's really, again, down to mentality. And right now, Watford have a five-minute mentality. They do not have any mentality that carries through, a mentality that's positive, that's forward-thinking, that carries through through a half or through an entire 95 minutes. They've only had that twice this season in both of their victories, pretty much against Aston Villa throughout the whole thing and against Norwich City a couple of weeks back when they won their second game of the season. So Watford now end their two-game unbeaten run with a very poor showing against Leeds United. Very concerned about this showing. I'm not concerned about the direction of the team because I still think it's going to take an, another few more weeks. This team is still learning each other. Now, of course, if I'm saying this in week 20, then, yeah. Then the concern is obviously there. Um, I am troubled by this team because the mentality isn't there. And I do think that the strongest problem, the biggest, one of the biggest issues is a lack of mentality. They, they have not done it. Cisco's been calling for it all week. He's been calling for it the last two weeks. 
And the reaction has been a poor first half at Newcastle against Newcastle at home. And the reaction has been a poor game overall against Leeds. They were non-existent against Leeds. That is the trouble. That is the concern for me. They were completely non-existent today. Ben Foster, I, I again, I don't know what's going on. He's a good cycling goalkeeper, but today his performance, he was all over the map today. I think Ben Foster will look at himself and know that it wasn't a good game for him. I don't think he was at fault for the goal. I think the defense was at sixes and sevens, switching off. Uh, it was just a nightmare show. Kushka did not clear the ball properly, headed it essentially into the path of the Leeds player, Lorente, and Lorente put it on the back in the back of the net. You know, I think this game comes down to us. It's not so much that Leeds were that good, and Leeds deserved to win. Do not get me wrong. It's down to us. Our mentality wasn't there. We were too tentative. We were too nervous and edgy. And I think they were intimidated. I honestly think that Watford were intimidated by this Ellen Rhodes atmosphere, Ellen Road atmosphere. And I said that that meant that atmosphere was going to be very hostile. And there's no excuse. I mean, these players have played in hostile atmospheres in their careers before. But these players have not played together enough. And I do think that that factors in here. Another thing that factors in here is that there is no leadership. There's no leadership on that field. There have been three different captains in this Premier League season for Watford. Ben Foster was the latest. Tom Cleverley, who did not play today, has been captain. William Truster Kong, who did play today, has been captain. Three different captains. And that, to me, is a sign that the ship is all at sea. We are rudderless right now in terms of our leadership on the pitch, in terms of having someone who gets behind these lads on the pitch, gives them a kick up the backside and says, come on, right. We are at it now. Come on. Let's put something together. There's no one on that team now that's doing that or can do it or is doing it enough. And as a result, you've also got 11 players who are all over the, all over the place. Although, again, two or three of them weren't today. Again, I don't want to include Danny Rose or Francisco Sierra in that because both of them played well. But we saw this against Wolves, where there was only one player at it that day in Gakia. We saw this against Brighton, where nobody came to play at all. We saw this in the first half against Newcastle, where nobody was at it. There's a pattern here. And as I keep saying, we're not going to really know more about this team until we get to games 8, 9, and 10. Right? Obviously, the game next, game 8 is next in two weeks' time against Liverpool. But even then, we're, we're going to see something about this team. We're going to see what kind of character Watford have against Liverpool at home in two weeks. What kind of character? If we can have all the highlights we want about games passed against Leeds or against Liverpool, the 3-0 win. I know we'll see that in the next couple of weeks. We'll see the highlights on the social media channels about our great win over Liverpool in 2020. But what the fans, I think, are crying out for is, what have you done for me lately? And Watford fans aren't going to be happy with this for very much longer. In fact, there have been a number of Watford fans who've already had it with Scott Duxbury. They've, had a, they've, they've gone at him. And this is all about what have you done lately? And it, this is not only about the manager. I think there's a lot of other things going on behind the scenes that, that we are not privy to. I know Adam Leventhal probably has a bit more about this, but there's a lot of things going on that do concern me. And I'm sticking with it. I'm still sticking with 11th place. I know I'll get laughed at, but I think that they're going to finish mid table. This cannot be the best Watford that you, that you're seeing cannot be. These players are still getting to know each other. That is my one silver lining here. The players are still getting to know each other. There still has not been an established leader in this team. That will have to be sorted out. The forward line, I've got no complaints with. No complaints. The midfield is an issue. And we're still trying to find out which midfield three is going to be the best fit. And I think that's still being learned. 
So it's still going to take a few more weeks. The question is, how many more weeks does Gino have to wait to see how it turns out? Because I, I, I think Gino's going to be looking around and making some phone calls again because these last few performances have been poor. And this is the thing. Watford lack the ruthlessness. And as I've said before, Gino's ruthless, and that, that's a good thing. I want Watford to be ruthless on the pitch. They were toothless today against Leeds. Toothless. And I think each and every one of those players knows it. The question is, why were they toothless today? That's my question. Why? And I invite anybody who is watching this video to try to answer that question. Because again, what frustrates me is that this was a lead side that had not won a Premier League game this season coming into this game. They lost just last week at home to West Ham. And I know some people will say, well, West Ham are a better club. But that's not the issue to me. The issue is, is that Leeds were, have been relatively poor this season. Now, they've had some moments where they could have picked up points. But you knew what the Leeds game plan was going to be. You knew that they were going to come directly at you. You knew Rafinha was going to be a pain in the neck all day. You knew that they've got players who can finish. You knew that they've got an identity on that side. And you know that their manager has got them ready. And that they were going to come out with an onus to win the game. And yet we still did not perform. That is what troubles me. Even more than the results. That is what troubles me. You had every impetus to put in a performance here. You had the motivation alone of knowing, of knowing that Leeds had not yet won a game. And that at Ellen's Road, they were going to be under pressure with that hostile crowd. Leeds fans do not mess around. They are very hostile, very hostile. They are very passionate. They have every right to be. And we did not silence that crowd. We did not think about it. We didn't put anything together to silence them, to have them shouting at their own players, to have them frustrated at their own players. We didn't do it. So as a result, this is a game that was wasted, as far as I'm concerned. This was a game that Watford wasted. Just completely wasted an opportunity to at least pick up a point here. Maybe even three. This game was still there to be had in the 80th minute. Still there to be had. Uh, no. We had, a, we had a, a one or two chances. Had a couple more corners. But... At the end of the day, poor finishing, poor decision making. No one with a no one with a little devil in them. Interestingly enough, I don't know there were some enforced substitutions, but no Kuchka, excuse me, no Cucho, Cucho Hernandez wasn't present in this game, and Jao Pedro, who's still coming in off a knee injury, was preferred to Cucho. So that tells me something about where Cisco thinks Cucho Hernandez sits in this team. Now, granted, Jao Pedro has to be given the opportunity, for sure. But Cucho Hernandez now has not featured in any of these last three games. Wasn't in the Norwich game, wasn't in the game against Newcastle, and he wasn't there today on the field in this game either. So he's not appeared for what? He's been on the bench, but he's not appeared in any Watford game these last three. Very interesting. Cathcart wasn't even in the squad today wasn't even named so again i don't know if kafkar's injured or i don't know if the manager's saying oh kafkar he's passed it now i don't know but what is very clear right now is that watford are playing with a five minute mentality that right now is their identity it's a five minute mentality and what what i mean by that is that there will be five minutes toward the end of the game now where they will put something together, where they will try. But they're not doing it across the 95 minutes. And that's not good enough. You can't come into the Premier League with an attitude that says, well, 
yeah, one nil. We'll just see what we can do toward the end of the game to try to get get a point. Can't do it like that. You've got to be switched on from minute one. And again, the mentality is not there. So those are the things. Mentality, leadership, commitment. Leeds wanted this game more than we did. They did. And it wasn't that Leeds were earth-shattering today. They were good. They deserved the win. I got no complaint with the result. I have lots of complaints with our application to the game, with what we have on the line here, going into an international break, knowing, knowing that you've got Liverpool in two weeks to come into Elland Road and play like this. It's not good enough. Not having it. We've got to be better than this. We must be better than this. I think we will be better than this. I'm still very confident about this team. The team is still finding itself, but it's the mentality. It's my biggest issue with this club, with this team specifically, I should say, is the mentality is not there. You've got a five-minute mentality. If that, they've got to do better than this. Got to. It's not good enough. I think it's very clear the players know that too. I believe in these players. I believe in this club. That this performance today was absolutely shambolic. And I believe they will play a lot better against Liverpool. They'll be up for that game against Liverpool. I have no doubt. They will be up for Liverpool. That is not a question. You, listen, if, if you can't get motivated against the Liverpool side, where everyone's going to be taking a look at... I mean, if we play the... I mean, look, we're different from Brentford. Do you see that game against Brent, Brentford versus Liverpool last week when Brentford just went at it? I get it. The styles are different. But if we don't at least bring some passion to that game in two weeks against Liverpool, I think Cisco again, could be looking over his shoulder. And the, and the sad thing is, I don't think a lot of this is Cisco's fault. I think it's about this, these players still trying to find themselves. It's going to take a bit of time. But you know who goes first in these situations, and it ain't the players. That's my take. 10-plus minute take. Watford fans, onward we go in two weeks' time. Liverpool at home. And what I want to see, and what I'm sure all of you want to see, is effort, is passion, is desire. Today, we were, were second to every ball, every ball. That's about passion and desire. And that's part of the mentality, right? That's part of what mentality is. And if you don't want, if you're not winning any of these balls or any of these second balls, You get the final score line that you got today. We have to play better, and I think we will. So I'm with the lads 110%. I'm wishing uh, everybody a good rest of your evening, day, afternoon, wherever you might be. And let's hope for and let's look for a much better performance in two weeks. And the international break, anything could happen these next two weeks. Watford have got to sort things out in terms of their mentality and that side of the game and where are our leaders on the pitch? We need to find out and we will find out soon.